morning class 7th subject english pc ren grammar lesson 14 topic conjunction so this topic conjunctions have been taken from a textbook pc ren grammar from lesson number 14 okay i will give you a detail introduction about conjunction we'll be studying this topic together and i hope this video makes conjunctions very easy for you all okay let's move further the contents that i am going to introduce you all in this video lecture will be the introduction of conjunction basically the meaning of conjunctions then types of conjunctions there are three types of conjunctions coordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunctions correlative conjunctions and a practice exercise that we will be doing together okay and then there's a homework for you all that you have to do on your own so quickly without wasting any time let's move to the introduction that is the first slide of this video lecture introduction okay so here i am going to introduce you what actually conjunctions are right conjunctions are words that join other words phrases clauses or sentences basically conjunctions are words that help us to join two individual sentences into one and they make a complete meaning clear there's one example that i have shared with you all let's move to that example i called him that's one sentence next one is he did not answer right so i am going to join these two sentences with a conjunction word okay let us join these independent sentences with the word but i called him but he did not answer so i called him was an individual sentence he did not answer is also an individual sentence but i have added these two independent sentences by using a conjunction but i called him but he did not answer so basically conjunction words are the words that join other words phrases clauses or sentences okay a conjunction is a part of speech that is used to connect words phrases clauses or sentences one and the same thing okay next there are three types of conjunctions that i had also told you when i was giving you briefing you about the presentation so basically there are three types of conjunctions we are going to study about them in detail so without any wasting any time let's move further to the first type of conjunction okay types of conjunctions in english conjunctions coordinating conjunction subordinating conjunctions correlative conjunctions so there are three types of conjunctions what are they coordinating conjunctions subordinating conjunctions correlative conjunctions clear yes there's one thing very important that you have to remember about the coordinating conjunction that is the word fan boys okay f stands for a stands for and n stands for nor b stands for but o stands for or y stands for yet and s stands for so so if you remember the word fan boys f a n b o y s you can remember coordinating conjunctions so coordinating conjunctions are for and nor but or yet so so it's very easy to mesmerize coordinating conjunctions as you have to only remember the word fan boys and you can just correlate the coordinating with then clear moving next to subordinating conjunctions okay what are subordinating conjunctions they are after although as as far as as if as long as as soon as as though because before even if when where wherever okay even though every time if in order that since so so that than though unless until whenever whereas 
Y. So these are all type of subordinating conjunctions. Okay. Moving next to correlative. With the word only you can understand correlative means they will have relation. Okay. There are many blanks where you are asked to put two conjunctions. So always remember that they you have to put their correlative conjunctions only. Okay. Either or, not only, but, neither, nor, both, and, whether, or, just as, so, the, the, as, as, as much as, no sooner, than, rather than. So these are the three types of conjunctions, coordinating conjunctions, subordinating conjunctions, correlative conjunctions. Okay. Now again, we are going to study about them in detail individually. Moving to the next slide. The first type is the coordinating conjunctions. Okay. We have already read about the word fanboys that I told you to mesmerize. That we will remember for coordinating conjunctions. We can define coordinating conjunction as one that joins sentences or words of equal rank or order. For example, night came on, the room grew dark. Clear? So these are the sentences which are of equal rank or order. This, this sentence is also talking about night and the other sentence is also talking about darkness. Okay, there is darkness in the night. So they are of equal rank or order. So it's very easy to join these two sentences when they are of equal rank or order. We join these two independent sentences with the word and. Okay. Night came on and the room grew dark. Thus, and is a coordinating conjunction. So we have applied which coordinating conjunction here? And fan A. Okay, we have used the word A here. With the A we have added here and. So in coordinating conjunctions, what you have to remember? You have to just remember that they should be of equal rank or order. And you have to remember the word fan boys. F-A-N-B-O-Y-S. Okay. So that will make very easy for you to understand coordinating conjunctions. Moving to the next type of conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so these are the other types of conjunctions. So subordinating conjunctions. We can define a subordinating conjunction as one that joins sentences of different rank or order one of them being dependent on the other. So if you remember in the coordinating, they should be of same rank or order. It's completely opposite in subordinating. The sentences should be of different rank or order. One of them being dependent on the other. Okay. Let's read the example to make this clear. For example, my grandfather has died. I saw you last okay so they are of different rank and order i saw you last and my grandfather has died now we use the word since to join these sentences my grandfather has died since i saw you last okay so these two sentences are of different rank or order and we have used the word conjunction word since here okay to make it a complete sentence thus since is a subordinating conjunction because it joins two sentences which are not of equal rank or order. One of the two is dependent upon or subordinate to the other. Clear? So coordinating is completely opposite of subordinating conjunctions. Moving to the next and the last type of conjunction. Correlative conjunction. So this is the third and the last type of conjunction. With the word only you can understand correlative. That means it will be in relation with something, right? So let's read about them. These are paired conjunctions which join words, phrases or clauses which have reciprocal or complementary relationship. Okay. Reciprocal means vice versa and complementary means they will complement each other. For example, either or. Okay, so that way. Either you go to the market or you come with me. So that's one example. So they are correlative conjunctions. I'm going to read the definition again for you all. 
correlative conjunctions are paired conjunctions with join words phrases or clauses which have reciprocal or complementary relationship the most commonly used correlative conjunctions are as follows either or neither nor whether or both and not only but also there are some examples of correlative conjunctions neither kishore nor meena passed the exam so can you see neither and nor they are correlative conjunctions they go together right next give me either a cup or a glass so either and or is a correlative conjunction in the sentence next one both red and yellow are attractive colors can you see both and the word and they both are correlative conjunction i like neither tea nor coffee again here neither nor they are correlative conjunction next one he will be either in the room or in the hall so either and or they both are correlative conjunction manu can speak not only english but also french so can you see not only and but also they both are also correlative conjunctions It's clear so correlative conjunctions are conjunctions that are paired conjunctions with join words phrases or clauses which have reciprocal or complementary relationship so you have to learn these correlative conjunctions either or neither nor whether or both and not only but also clear to everyone moving to the next next slide is also regarding correlative conjunctions these are another set of correlative conjunctions okay some other paired conjunction and to such as to to so that although though yet so as 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 so lest should no sooner than so these are other paired of tense and tenses ten paired conjunctions okay there are examples also given along with them he is an actor and a performer too so and and to are paired conjunction only such men as these make progress in life such and as are paired conjunctions he is too tired to walk to and the word to so that he is so tired that he can't walk the word conjunction so is here and that although though yet though he is spendthrift yet he bought an expensive watch so though is here and the other conjunction correlative conjunction yet is also here he is not so wise as his brother is so and as correlative conjunction he is as close fisted as his brother so the correlative conjunction as and as as you sow so shall you reap the correlative conjunction here is as and so work hard lest you should fail so the correlative conjunction here is lest and should last one no sooner the rain started the street drains began to overflow so these are another set of 10 correlative conjunctions that you have to remember so it's my request to you all to go through them properly and to even mesmerize them because they will be very useful for you all to fill in the blanks for the conjunction exercise okay moving next will be a practice exercise for you all and that we'll be doing together in the online class i want everyone to read each and every sentence once again on your own moving next practice exercise choose the correct conjunction you have to choose the correct conjunction among the two right first one i did my best to pass my english exam yet slash so i failed i will get my car service and for there is something wrong with the brakes the suspect went to the airport and slash yet tried to use a license that had his brother's identification on it or slash but 
he got caught nobody expected sam to get the job nor slash so did i we can go to a changing restaurant or slash and a mexican i don't really mind so these are a set of five sentences that you have to do on your own you have to choose the correct conjunctions among the two available to you all okay next slide is regarding your homework homework classify the conjunctions in the following sentences as coordinating and subordinating conjunctions you have to tell whether they are coordinating or subordinating conjunction the king died and his son reigned we must eat or die he is amusing but vulgar he came in and i went out i failed but i tried again i shall come if i can i saw my friend as he came in you must do as you like i will come with you if you wish since you say so i must believe it okay so you have to do this homework exercise in this you have to classify that which conjunction the sentence belongs to whether it is coordinating or subordinating conjunction okay you have to do this homework exercise as well as your practice exercise and we will be discussing both of them in the online class children please make sure that you are doing the homework is that clear and you are keep sending the homework also to my mail id every day thank you have a good day and kindly do your work on time and send me as soon as possible